Hello, hello and welcome to a new video about Star Citizen. Yes, we are doing a new video because I got a lot of uh, good comments from you guys on the previous video. Even while for me back then I was pretty new to the game. Thank you everyone for your heartwarming and welcome reactions to the Star Citizen uni universe. And I really do appreciate it. And um, well, I've also seen a lot of comments of people saying that I maybe should learn the game first before starting to do more showcase videos. And well, okay, I can understand that. My uh, original thought about the first video was that maybe it was fun to show you guys a little bit how a new player uh, was able to get around the universe of Star Citizen. But I can also understand that it might be a little bit annoying to look to a player who has really no clue sometimes what he is doing even while I knew pretty base pretty basic uh, flight controls and stuff like that uh, anyway first let's get up um, what I am going to show you guys today is the uh, uh, the planet of R Corp and that's a pretty new planet from what I've read and this really really sh is a fantastic planet because it's one huge city planet and right now we are at area 18 in uh, our core and our core planet so let me try to show you guys that so here is the planets and normally the last time maybe if you remember it we did start uh, here near Crusader and we went to the planet of Hurston to uh, the city uh, of Lorville but uh, our corp is even better I mean there is it's such a huge uh, planet with all cities around we were able to land anywhere with our spaceship on uh, I'm building somewhere somewhere and it's really really great uh, we can't really land e everywhere uh, there because pretty much everywhere it's restricted to land but in this area 18 an example we are able to land and also on some large buildings we were also able to land but uh, enough talk about that let's go outside our little bedroom here our little room which we have here on uh, on our corp and uh well just to show you guys a little bit how our uh, very detailed everything is when we open up our this little room it's our bathroom actually and you know it will it's very compact uh, like this is a shower this is a toilet i think it is yeah and this is like a uh, sink so all very portable and i think this resembles a little bit the um idea of a capsule hotel in tokyo maybe to have very efficient room um, and space management so what you can do here uh, as well let me see if i'm able to find an item i mean it's real what's really nice is you can like an example inspect uh things to see uh yeah more detailed look um but anyway let's drop the uh oh, whoops I don't want to do that. I want to place my what? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have really no idea what it is. Maybe just salt and pepper. But anyway, let's get out of our room and let's show you guys the wonderful Blade Runnerish city of uh, of Area 18 the, on the R Corporation planet. So let's see if it is daytime or nighttime. It looks like dawn, I think. Because when I arrived here yesterday, it was uh, at night. Uh, it was nighttime. And um, and it looked really cool. I mean, all the neon signs and all. But I also was pretty curious how it looks on daytime. And I think now we get a pretty cool view on how the city is at daytime. We're also going to fly around here a little bit. And uh, yeah, if there's like a moon close by, we're also going to do a moon landing. So it's going to be a pretty long video, I think. But anyway, lots, lots to show you guys this video. And uh, again, I want to thank everyone who is giving me tips on how to do specific things in the game and uh, thank you very much uh, also I saw some people who are still saying this is scam citizen but I never see a very um, well written explanation on how they why they think it is a scam why the game is scam because in my opinion you know um, what they have created so far you can't really say it's scam right I mean it's such a huge huge project already uh, also an alpha phase and I think they're very open and clear what they are doing with the funding and all but I mean I mean if you guys think differently about it please let that know in the video comments anyway um, so we are here now let me show you guys a little bit about this city wow it looks different here on daytime and nighttime the neon signs were all like more lit out but it's like yeah it still looks very good um, of course if you check out these buildings 
And just to uh, remind you, we're able to fly anywhere we want. I mean, it's just really, really cool. But so this is how everything looks in the daytime. Uh, this is also a huge, huge place. Um, we are now only at the. Um, oh, that's a little bit graphical error, graphic glitch. We're now here only at the plaza, I think, like a marketplace. If I remember correctly, I've only been here like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or something. Yeah, so this is the plaza. This is somewhat of a um, yeah, city district, maybe a shopping district. And what I really like here are all these um, <laughs> advertisements. This is, of course, a reference to Jaws Hammerhead. And uh, yeah, all these Neo signs, stuff like this. And this is just a random place on a random planet in the galaxy of Star Citizen. And that's why I think this is so cool to have this, to have the skill like this on, uh, for this game. So, all right, let's um, proceed a little bit towards the plaza area to give you a little bit more Blade Runner vibes. Look at that. Not really sure if we're able to land on top of that building, but there are definitely some buildings on this planet where we were able to actually land on, so that was pretty cool. This also looks cool, the R Corp um, stuff. And also you see the frame rate is dropping a bit. I'm pretty sure they're optimizing it for um, current graphics, uh, current PC specs. But for for the rest, you know, it runs fine. Also, uh, f uh, traveling in space and all also runs fine, looks cool. And wow, look at this lady. Hello. Can we interact with you, maybe? I don't think so, right? That's fine. Let's um, walk around a little bit. So, wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, there are some shops here. I, uh, from what I remember, this elevator... Oh, maybe that elevator works. Then this doesn't work. This does not have any buttons. Which means we can only run this elevator. So, there's a store here. But this Area 18 is so freaking huge. I mean, it's, um, this is only like the plaza is only a small part of this Area 18 and we're on a planet. I would like to remind you that we're on a planet. So this is just, even the city is just a small portion of this planet uh, space. So shops are going to be opened here pretty soon. And here we have Center Mass, which is a gun shop for your ships or personal defense i mean always nice uh, uh shopping for weapons right so we have all these weapons but they're probably so expensive i can't buy any uh to my ships but we also have uh small arms of course here maybe this guy has something to tell us i don't think so no that's all right and uh, yeah you can also use these consoles of course to um shop for weapons and uh let's see weapon attachments and as you can see i don't have that much money i still have the starter money so for me this is all uh, way too expensive to buy anything so far let's see are able to actually enter here now it's locked but here we have again a great view of the city i have to say while this look impressive why this looks impressive i have to say nighttime looks even more impressive with all the neon signs and all so maybe um yeah we'll come back here later when it is nighttime because uh, last night, actually, funny enough, I was here and everything was dark. Uh, it was dark outside because, um, again, uh, this has this planet just has a day and night cycle like uh, we have on Earth because a star is uh, rotating around the planet. And uh, yeah, for that, you know, it depends whether it's going to be day or night. But anyway, enough here. I think we can uh, leave this um, leave this floor. Let's see what options do we have. We have center mass and the north lobby. I think this is center mass. All right, and then also, of course, I would like to go to the um, platform for spacecraft while we were able to uh, to lift off and fly around this planet. Area 80 is premier center for business development. Please consult any of our associates for help or rental opportunities. Well, sure do, woman. Let's see, what do we have here, actually? I can't remember, I've been here. So, what's this? Can we exit this? It's open, but not open for us, it seems. Okay, that's fine. And let's just take this elevator. Now, it doesn't have any buttons, unfortunately. Okay, nothing here. 
that's okay. So welcome to area 18. 18, thank you very much. Alright, so let's see what more uh, stores do we have here. Oh wow, they're all... Look at this. The scale of buildings and all is so huge. I mean, I'm really wondering how Cyberpunk is gonna look, but I think Star Citizen is doing a very, very good job on how a futuristic game should look. So what do we have here? I've, I've not been here. Wow, look at this. What's this place? Customer service for this. I don't know what is this. Great customer service. There are no employees here, but that's okay. Wow, it looks cool here. I mean, it's a nice place. Maybe like a lobby or something for a business suite or anything like that. And this is a nice view. Wow, look at this. Cool. This is a really nice um, area here. And we, of course we can also, we should be able to sit, uh, or can we not sit here? Normally with chairs and all you are able to interact and you are able to uh, uh, sit anywhere. But let's see, what are these trading consoles, I think? Ah, okay, here you can buy upgrades, I think. This is cargo. Available items. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. Um, I have to uh, find out how trading works and all. Still. Look at that. Exotic plants, or maybe from Mother Earth. Who knows? Let's continue exploring this. Um, market area so let's see here we came from what do we have here banking if we want to withdraw any money we can do that here but uh, we don't have much money unfortunately look at these nice signs so what do we expect here hmm, we'll go either left or right let's go left where there's nothing <laughs> okay that's fine Here's also nothing, it seems. Okay. Oh, we can sit. Can we sit here? We can't. That's unfortunate. Here we can finally somewhere to sit. Cool. Nice little uh, shady alley here. But uh, yeah, nothing really of interest here. So um, we're leaving. Maybe we should go to a different area now. Um, because there's a metro station here which connects everything in the city. And I really, really want to show you guys the scale of this planet. So we're going to find this space. Maybe we should find a space station right now. Um, because I think we've seen it so far, The um, this nice little alley. I mean, this uh, nice little um, marketplace here. Hi, buddy. You got something to say? Ooh, Hadox. Can I buy one from you? Probably not, that's fine. Onion rigs, mm, that's a nice little uh, spot. Alright. I hope we're getting somewhere pretty soon. Wow, look at the uh, graphics here, the lightning effects. They look really, really cool. So, what do we have here? Mm, this looks like someone important. Oh, well. Kind of off the beaten path, aren't you? Hello. Yeah. Okay, not like this was important or anything. You want to talk with me? Then start talking. Why can I not talk with her anymore? Mm, wow, this looks cool. But uh, can I talk with you, please? Maybe she doesn't look. Yeah. You're kind of off the beaten path, aren't you? I know. I know, it's a strange place to hang out but i quite like it here it's quiet well quieter i'm tisha pachico but people call me twitch if you're wondering back here it says two things to me one they're an adventurous spirit 
to you, they've got some time on their hands. Fortunately, I'm a freelance time manager. I keep people busy. So if you find yourself looking for something to occupy your time, then I know people who are hiring adventurous spirits. Cool. Looking for work. Maybe. So we random stumble upon a mission. I appreciate nice. your enthusiasm, but it doesn't mean I've got anything for you. Well, thanks for wasting my time then. <laughs> Can we uh, jump up here and maybe check out the view? Or not? Mm, probably not. Alright. Well, thank you, lady, for pretty much nothing. But Alright. So let's try to get out of here. Mm, this is not also an exit. Well, and let's go to the space port um, to get our ship. The only thing I'm missing, by the way, a little bit in this game is a local map. Um, I'm not sure if there is any available. If um, Maybe some of you guys know it. If there is supposed to be a local map of the area, then uh, please let me know in the comments. But uh, for now, I've not been able to find a local map of uh, any place here um, where you can actually land on. All right. Let's see. So where can we exit? Um, there are no signs here as well, which can be a little bit annoying at times, but maybe here we're able to take a metro uh, station. Spectrum Unlimited, why was this? Hello? Ah, it's a magazine store, I think. Nice, nice little kiosk place. So this is... What do we have here? Can't remember I've been here actually. Looks nice. Nice view here as well. But a map, a map would be a lot um, better. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Oh man, this <laughs> place is really a library. Uh, really a maze. I mean. Not a library, a, uh, a labyrinth, that's what I wanted to say. Dumper's Depot. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, wow, look at that. That looks cool. Repairing ships. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's because I do have a map on my second monitor here about Area 18. So the Area Core Plaza, there should be a connection to the um, Memorial Space Riker Memorial Spaceport. So we have to find that one. So yeah, can we find a map here somewhere? That will be really handy. And then let's. Um, Take a metro to the space station. But uh, wow, it's really a maze here. It's, um, yeah. I'd rather not be uh, that uh, lost in a video game anymore nowadays, but we still get here in Star Citizen. Hey, this looks like a bar. Can we enter it? Ah, we can. Nice. Wow. Look at this, man. There's, <laughs> there's an entire bar here. Hi, buddy. What's that sound? Cool, nice view here as well. Um, I think I want to be here because I think we can. Um, there is a met. I think this is a metro line. If I'm not mistaken, maybe if we can get there, that would be awesome. So let's try to get out of here. Is this a door? No, it looks not like a door. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can get um, to the metro station here then. Would that be possible? 
No, it's also a dead end, unfortunately. I've been here, right? I've been here already. So we are here at the Arcor uh, Central Place again. So let's see, can we actually find... Ah, City Flight Transit, cool. Thank you very much. That's what we wanted to go. So let's see, we can here go to the spaceport and this is... Oh, they're both the spaceport. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to the spaceport. Wow, ooh, if we're afraid of heights, then this is not really a nice way to be here. Hi guys, are there any player characters? I think this is a player character. Or not? No, I think so. Normally you can invite them in your party. Anyway, let's see. Um, I think we want to like, let's see, what, what time is the train arriving? In 170 seconds. Maybe we can um, unequip our helmet because I'm not really sure if it uses oxygen right now. So let's see, armor, helmet, unequip. All right. Okay, so I th because the weird thing is that yesterday I was here for quite a while and I think half an hour or something, but then all of a sudden I died and uh, just just here in the city, and I think it has something to do that my helmet is hey look there's a different player I think it has something to do that my helmet is using oxygen or so, some kind, but um, as you can see here I can um, I can invite this guy to the party and that's the way to find out if it's actually in a, uh, a player or not. So, what do we have here? Uh, this is just a regular sign of, um, of standard spaceships, I think. So, let's see. What can we find here more under F1? So, there is a suit oxygen level here. Okay, that's cool. So, we have to be sure not to forget. Um, what's this change pending, by the way? Why am I still wearing my freaking helmet? Ah, oh, okay. I need to save change and unequip. So, yeah, okay. I now have my helmet off. Cool. Alright, so in 18 seconds we should have a metro line towards the um, spaceport. Hi buddy, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's also waiting for uh, the metro here. So it's uh, not a re your regular metro, it's actually a flying metro, which is nice. And I'm pretty sure the other guy is also coming. Are you coming, buddy? Because we don't have all day to uh, to step in. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> Why do you not want to come on? What's he, what's he doing? He's gonna miss the train, definitely. Oh, he's actually not going with uh, with our metro line. Doors are now closing. Okay. So let's go. And again, like I said, at night time this looks even cooler with all the neon signs and all. And uh, but now again, of course, in the uh, daylight um, time, it also looks really, really great. I mean, everything is so well detailed. I mean, almost everywhere you can look, you can actually go. Uh, you know, we can actually fly over. Uh, but there is a uh, there is a restricted area uh, almost everywhere near ground level, so you can't just uh, land and park your space every, anywhere. Um, you know. <clears throat> because it will be a pretty mess and also very dangerous when ships are flying uh, all uh, yeah all there without any regulation or whatsoever all right so we are reaching the spaceport and that means we can use our own spaceship to take off and uh, we'll fly a little bit around the planet because I think that's cool the planet is very large uh, also the planet of uh, also the area 18 where you can actually walk around it's very large. We've only been to the Arcor Plaza, but there is so much more. But, I mean, if we would want to show everything, this video would be way too long. And uh, for that, I hope you guys have a little bit of an idea so far what this Arcor planet is going to be. But you will be even more amazed in a couple of minutes when we are actually taking off with our spaceship and uh, 
flying over this planet. I mean, just to show you how large it is. All right, so we should be arriving now any minute. I think there's an indicator here as well on the metro. Uh, where we are now. That's here, Riker Memorial Spaceport. Let's see if there are any other players here. This is an NPC. And these are also NPCs, I think. Okay, cool. Let's call in our uh, uh, spacecraft if we can do that anywhere. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Customs area because they want to check if we smuggled something with us. Custom personal only. You're now leaving a green zone. Okay. Custom interviews if you've been a naughty boy and you're carrying and smuggling stuff. Alright, so we are, uh, <laughs> I think we're clear to go. Um, okay. So, can we call in our ship? I think we can here. Great. So, let's see. Um, we can retrieve our Aurora, which is stored on this planet. And we should be able to get it uh, Your now. Ship has been delivered to the following Unfortunately, at this point, I discovered that my ship did not spawn at the correct hangar. It's a bug that I did learn about uh, on this place and it causes that um, your ship is not being spawned at the correct hangar unfortunately. So what I did decide is to cut out this video now and I did do a new session actually at night time this time at the Arcor planet so we can finally see how everything looks at night time and you will be able to see that at the second part of this video. So. Uh, I will make sure to post that second part also today, so if you really like this, you are able to just click to the next video and check out how this adventure continues, because I'm going to uh, fly off the planet here and we're going to visit a moon. So that's going to be pretty cool, I can say you that already, and I hope you guys liked it and see you at the next part of this video.